It was about almost bar closing time, about 1.50-ish. Initially, I was uh, talking with a woman who had, who had been robbed. Uh, someone had reached into her purse on her body and taken uh, her cell phone. Where was it at? It was actually in my purse in that purse? I had on me. Okay. I just... Okay, I'm gonna, what's your name? My name's Emily. Emily, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do a report for you for, for uh, robbery. I noticed a car coming down the alley trying to get through all these people, and it's, it's 20, 20, 30 feet away. Okay, I'll be right back. Stay, stay here for a second. And I start walking over to the car, and as I look at it, I can see in through the front, the front windshield, leaning across the driver is the front seat passenger with his hand on a silver handgun, uh, pointing it at people right in the alley and at people that are still inside the back patio bar. He moved so quickly and was on top of that car so quick from the 20 feet, it seemed like it was just like that. At that point, I, I, pull, out the, I pull out my gun and I start yelling, Denver police, drop the gun, drop the gun as I advance on, on the car. Gun drawn, uh, moves towards the car, drop it, drop it, drop it! Initially when it happens, you have a second. Snapped into action right away. To look at all those factors, the crowd behind you, the car, the driver. I don't think they expected the response that they got out of Jesse. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Put your hands in the air! I wasn't worried about his safety at all. The passenger doesn't really seem like he wants to acknowledge me, so there's probably at this time maybe 50 or more people that he's this person is, throwing, is pointing his gun at, there's a high likelihood that he's going to shoot. I thought somebody was going to be shot. I mean, no. it was bad. I don't think he thought that there was going to be a police officer right there. And it was, uh, it was amazing to, 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 to watch. Metro 29, he code 10 covered, 2000 block, Larimer Market Alley. Got a party with a gun. And he then puts it underneath, the, underneath his seat. Uh, and then he puts his hands up. At that point, other officers started arriving that had been working the 20th of Market for the bar out crowd. At that point, he started pulling people out of the car, find the silver handgun underneath his seat, and that's kind of how it went. I mean, everybody should be proud of him, the way he handled the situation. It's good to have guys like that out there. I thought that, and still do think it was the correct response to show that restraint. And that is the overarching goal when we're working to help people and to save people and not let anybody get hurt. Depending on the consequences that, it, you know, to myself are secondary than the safety of the public. Thank, thank you for being there that night, doing what you did. You saved lives. That's what, you know, the citizens hired me to do, um, to try to make their city safer. So, and, and with this person with the gun pointing at them, uh, that's a person that, that needed to not be on the street.